Hi, welcome. Uh, I'm Rachel. I'm going to be cutting my hair today. Um, it's gotten a little bit poofier than I'd like it. Um, a little bit frazzled on the ends. So it just needs a good shape up, basically. And I thought I'd uh, take you guys along with me, do a little follow along kind of tutorial thing. Um, how I cut like my mother at home. So before I start, I'll just give you the full um, 360 of how it's looking at the moment. Um, it's quite bulbous at the top. I don't like how much hair is up here. I like it to be a bit tighter. Um, I do like the volume, but this all feels really dry at the back. Like it really needs a good trim. And I'm not gonna take too much off the length, but again, it just feels really dry, so it needs it. Um, Here's how it's looking. I hope you can see the back. But yeah, so that's the before. So I'm just gonna wet my hair down. Oh, the spray bottle is really terrible. I'm just gonna get it all damp and then I'm gonna section it out into different sections. So I'll show you guys what sections I use. Okay, and then I'm gonna comb it down. It's gonna look really sexy. So basically I section off the whole top section from like behind each ear all the way around. So that's going to be the top. So now I've done that, I'm just going to clip all of the back bits out the way so I don't accidentally cut off more than I want to. I'm just going to take where my head rounds, see how my head's round? but it's kind of flatter on top and flatter on the sides. So I want this these side sections to be a little bit tighter. I want them to be nice and short so you can see my ears, get that really like mullety vibe. So where it rounds, I'm gonna take that as its own separate little section, maybe a little bit lower. basically have our top section I like to start with this bit and then kind of go from there because I cut the top and then I match the layers at the back to the length on the top so basically to start I take a section down the middle and I comb everything else out the way and then I'm gonna pull it straight up you see that I'm there's a section that's from the top of my head down to here. I'm gonna put it straight up. And I don't wanna take loads off, I'm gonna take half an inch off. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna do that whole line. Guys have seen that I'm just gonna do this whole section without talking so
check all of those layers. What I'm going to go is go through, instead of going this way, I'm going to go this way. Basically pull it all up and just like, yeah, you can see I haven't done a very good job. Any like long bits, just try and even those out. Like the purpose of this haircut isn't for it to be perfect, but I'd like it to be somewhat okay. <laughs> so I just want to check that the, these aren't all like random lengths. See that there? I might have just missed that bit out. So I'm just gonna. I'm basically making all of these layers on top kind of the same length. So now we're going to go on to the sides. Clipping the top out of the way. Clip the back out of the way. I don't want loads off of this side. I'm just going to do a tiny little bit. So I basically just pull them out like that. So I started with the furthest back section, I pulled a little bit of hair and then moved forward into the front. And then I'm going to join these two bits because there's probably some hair in the middle that I missed as well. So You see this? The side is this short but the top is this long. So that's kind of awkward, so I need to join them up. So there's this long bit here that I'm just gonna snip off. And then here. You see that? There's this long bit, there's the side, there's the top. Snip, the, snip that bit off. We don't need it. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave this corner for my fringe because I like to have a longer fringe. So that's kind of like the hard bit out the way. Um, you can see how we've just kind of created like a nice round, but slightly tighter here around the ears. So you get this like nice little shape. 
and I have left length around the fringe. I didn't really explain that earlier, but basically when I was taking the layers, I would sort of leave out a little section around here because I like it to be longer around the front. I like to get these little curtains and we're gonna refine those at the end when it's dry. But it gives you this nice little like long corners that you can kind of twiddle up and these little short bits in the middle so it kind of frames your face like that. So um, we're gonna go into that more later. But now I'm just gonna take these clips out. And I think there's one back here. And release the back. So you can see it's looking quite poofy. First I'm just gonna trim my ends, which I basically do by doing a line down the back without seeing it, so it's probably wonky and combing it all to the front, <laughs> like this. I'm just gonna take a little bit off, drop it down, try and get that to be a straight line. And then I kind of just put it all over to one side and just make sure that it looks okay and then all over to the other side I don't really care if it's like a super straight line at the back that's not what's important to me but Ooh, there we go so now I've done that I'm gonna move on to the layers I'm using this length here as a guideline for my layers so what I do is I basically take hair from the top Hope you can see this like this and I comb it straight upwards so from the front I can see it okay so I comb it upwards so here is the top section and then here is what how long the back ones are so I want to connect those together so I'm gonna pull this all up together and I'm gonna cut those back layers to be the same as the top layers it sounds like you're going to make them really short, but trust me, it's going to make sense. But what I'm also doing is I'm making it a straight line. So these corner pieces aren't going to connect to this piece. So it's going to be longer in the corners. Sorry if I'm losing you guys, but that's how I, I do it. Boop, boop, boop. See that? So I've basically made this all a straight line. Pulled it all up and I've cut it as if there's a straight line up here. And then I take my next section. This is quite... But you see how I'm doing that? I'm taking... I took one bit look like there and then I'm moving down my head each time I'm pulling more hair up. Shake it out. Okay. So basically now I've got down to the back, like that's all of my hair now has been pulled up. So by the time you get to your last section, you shouldn't really be cutting loads off. But that basically just gives you layers going all the way down so it connects the back with the top but it kind of disconnects the sides from the back so you still have some hair here it's not like super short 
but you still have that length on the bottom as well. All right, so I'll show you what the back looks like. I can't see it, I hope it looks good. Can you see those layers? And now my hair's um, dried naturally. I'm gonna go through and point cut in to all of it, because at the moment, if you look at it, it's like a solid block. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into that just to give it texture because at the moment it's like a solid Lego head of hair. So the way that I do that is, well, so which way is gonna be easier for me? I'm gonna pull it up like this in sections, take my scissors and I'm gonna cut down into it and try not to take too many triangles. You wanna make sure that the hair is combed in the direction that you're cutting into because otherwise you're just gonna take a massive chunk out which we don't want to do, we just want to give it a little bit more texture. So I'm going to do this everywhere, basically. bits I'm just gonna refine it a little bit um, I might do it over my ears first a little bit of extra hair so I want this side's looking great kind of tucked in over my ear and like not too heavy in this little point this side looks heavy it looks really heavy so I'm gonna snip into that that's better and I'm just gonna kind of slightly cut around my ear not too crazy and I'm gonna do it going upwards. I'm not gonna cut like a super solid line because I don't want that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now onto the fringe, finally. I like the way it's looking. It's pretty good already. Um, you see how it's a little bit shorter in the middle. I'm just gonna cut like upwards like this. Take little snips I want to really make it choppy I'm just gonna cut in the direction the hair's going I'm not gonna cut against it cut with it and this this corner is still a bit long so So finally, I'm just gonna go through all of these back sections, comb them all up again, and just chop into them like I did the top. just sprayed it with a little bit of water water and put a tiny bit of um, curl cream in just because it was looking a bit fluffy but it still looks fluffy because it's first day wash um, and then I just let it dry again and kind of 
put it into the shape that I wanted it to be in. Um, but yeah, this is how it ends up. This is the result. I didn't change that much because I actually was really liking how it was looking anyway. Um, it was just a trim, basically. But hopefully, if any of you wanted to use that to follow along and do your own hair, it was helpful. Um, let me know. <laughs> let me know if this kind of like chatty video worked well as well. Last time I did like a voiceover, um, I wasn't like talking at a camera. So let me know how it worked out for you. I'll do the, the 360. Um, here it is from the side and then from the back. Hopefully you can see it. There it is over my shoulder. On that side but yeah I really like it um, this is like my favorite style of mullet on myself so far I feel like it's quite flattering and it's not too extreme but it's still you know short and long so yeah <laughs> hope you guys like this uh, let me know if you did um, like it subscribe if you want to you don't have to um, only if you liked it but yeah thank you bye bye